Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lamaster here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one guys I'm gonna be showing you two brand new glitches that are honestly some of the funniest glitches that have ever been found in Rocket League Now I'm not gonna spoil these glitches for you I'm gonna show them to you as we go along here, but both of them they're just hilarious now, I will say that they can't really be used online, but if you show them to your friends and just to people you're messing with, they are some very funny glitches and you can definitely get some good reactions from them. But anyways, guys, as always, if you enjoy today's video or learn something new, and I definitely think you will learn something in this video, be sure to leave a like down below on the video because it helps me out seeing how much I was able to help you guys out, if that makes any sense. So be sure to just go down there, click that button because it helps me out a ton. But anyways, guys, I know you're super excited to see how these glitches are done so let's not waste any more time here and let's get into it with the first one all right guys so the first glitch here this is how you can get no wheels on your car that's right guys so with this amazing glitch and it's super simple to do it'll basically make your car just be floating there in the menu so as you can imagine this one is great for messing with your friends because they'll join your lobby and they'll be completely confused as to why you do not have any wheels on your car but anyways guys to do this glitch you're first going to want to create a random preset because it does kind of mess with your settings like this one specifically kind of messes with your boosts like it'll take them off sometimes it'll just choose a random one so you definitely don't want to be going in the game with like a red car and then have say the bubbles boost on for some random freaking reason so again just make a new preset and when you want to mess with your friends just switch to this one and you'll be ready to go it will just save your settings like that so once you have your preset ready you can go ahead and change stuff like your car because that won't change through the glitch but once you have that you're going to want to go over to the boost section of the menu now once you're there to do the glitch you're simply going to need to press this one button combination very quickly and in a specific order so this combination of buttons and I'm gonna be using the Xbox one controller for this but if you're using like ps4 and maybe a keyboard just press the equivalent buttons and it'll work the same way now the buttons that I am talking about are the a button then the left and right bumper and also the left and right triggers now basically the way you want to press these buttons is by quickly pressing the a button then the bumpers then the triggers as quickly as you can like you pretty much want to press them at the same time but not quite so that you get them going in that order now this will take you a bunch of tries to get down but once you get it as you can see here it will take all of the wheels off of your car now I don't think I have to explain it to you guys but that that looks pretty freaking weird your car is literally just floating there and you know what it looks like it looks like you were in some bad part of town and your wheels got completely jacked from your car like I'm telling you guys those eggs in the crowd look pretty cute but they are freaking savages but yeah, unfortunately, this does not show up online. Whenever you get into a game, it'll just revert your wheels back to the default ones, which really sucks. It's kind of unfortunate about this glitch. But again, as long as you just keep switching between those presets, it's not the biggest hassle in the world. And also what's kind of cool about this, when you go online or either close the application, as you can see me doing right here, when you load up with this preset, it will still have the wheels off of your car. So you don't have to keep redoing this glitch each time, which would be super freaking painful and annoying. So at least that part is super easy now moving on to the second glitch and you probably won't believe me but this one is actually a ton weirder than the first one the glitch I'm talking about right here is the double toppers glitch and also wait for it how to get painted freaking deal with it glasses that's right guys this might just be the best glitch of all time all right maybe not but either way it's pretty much the same process as doing the no wheels glitch but instead of starting on the boost section you want to go into the toppers now if you want to choose a specific topper to always have doubled with the other one you're going to want to make sure you first have selected another topper that you don't want and then hover over the topper that you do for sure want on the car so once you found that topper just press the same button combination as we did with the no wheels glitch and if you do it correctly it should double up the toppers and look completely freaking weird like I mean just look at this some of the combinations you can come up with are insane like I'm really sad this one doesn't work online as well because it would just look so awesome like generally the best ones that look together are the ones that actually move so if you have the ghost Halloween topper and you put it with like the halo that one looks really freaking sick and honestly the ghost is probably one of the best ones to do this glitch with because it always looks crazy but really whatever you put together it's all gonna look hilarious and there's definitely tons of amazing combinations now what's even 
cooler about this glitch is that if you do it with an item that can be painted, like say right here I have the crown, if you do the glitch with an item like this one and then move it on to another item that is painted, that crown or whatever item you choose will take up that same color. So as you can see here, I only have the orange crown, but if I move it to the sky blue cone, it will take up that same exact sky blue color. Now what's even cooler about this part of the glitch is that you can for some reason do it with the deal with it glasses. That is right guys, now I'm pretty sure this is the only non-painted item that you can do this glitch with, but as you can see, if you do the glitch with this one, you can make the glasses any color that you want. Like just look at this, I have freaking sky blue deal with it glasses, then we can get like orange or burnt sienna deal with it glasses, and all of them, they just look amazing. And again, I don't know why this works with the deal with it glasses, it doesn't work with other non-painted items, so I don't know if they originally planned to make this item painted, but either way, it definitely looks insane and is a very fun glitch to do. Now again guys, just like with the wheels glitch, this one does not carry into online game modes, which is really unfortunate, I really wish it did, and I definitely think we should try and find a way to get this into online modes. It's not like it's a game breaking glitch or anything, it would just be a super funny one to mess around with and see in online games every once in a while. So with that being said guys, if you happen to find a way to get these glitches working online, be sure to comment down below on the video, because I, as well as probably every single person watching this video, would love to know how to do it. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like down below, it only takes a second and it helps me out a ton, and do not forget to subscribe for more Rocket League glitch videos in the near future. Also, if you'd like to check out some of the other Rocket League glitch videos that I've made, I'll leave some cards at the end of the video that you can click on and see some of those awesome glitches. Like one of the glitches lets you get fully out of the map with your car and is definitely one of the funnest glitches to do. Like seriously guys, you have to try because it's so amazing driving on the outside of the map and just being able to fly through the air for pretty much as long as you want. But other than that guys, again I hope you enjoyed today's video, I'm the Lamaser, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.